Hi everyone, Release Fire here. So gonna take you through how to make checkpoints in Super Mario Maker 2. They're relatively easy, but I wanted to throw in a few ideas as well in terms of how to get the most out of checkpoints and how to use them in a way that actually feels like it makes sense in your levels. Hopefully it's gonna help you out. If it does, drop us a like below, but to get to checkpoints you want to go into the magnifying glass to get into all your parts and use R to head on over to the right hand side and what you're looking for is past enemies you've got this gizmo section so you've got quite a few little items on the far right hand side and the checkpoints just here you can see the flag is just on the left there just one over to the left so then you just select it with A and then you can drop it into your level wherever you want to so I'm putting it here so I'll get a checkpoint just after taking out Bowser Jr but it's worth thinking about how you can make your checkpoints kind of cooler so I'm putting my checkpoint in a source so if you're small Mario there's no way you can get the checkpoints so I'll need to put in a little question mark block and also throw in a Super Mario mushroom. So drop the block in here and then I just want a mushroom to go in as well. So just place it to the side of it and then drag it on in. So what that means is that I'll be able to get Super Mario to uh, power up before taking on Bowser Jr. So then the challenge will be making it through that mini boss fight without losing the power up so that Mario is still big enough to be able to go into the saw, take it on the chin and lose the power up at that point and then get the flag. And then I'm going to throw in another boss over here to make it kind of feel like it makes sense that actually by making it through there you get a checkpoint before you then take on this boss here, Bowser in the clown car. So then we've got a boss ahead of him. We've got a checkpoint where Mario needs to be powered up to be able to get it. And then I've also got some warp tunnels so that you can actually duck under this fight if you wanted to. Or you could take it on and then kind of like you can go back to the checkpoint if you find it too difficult as small Mario. But that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to run through the course now. I'm just going to drop Mario in here. So then I've just got, uh, got to get the power up. And then I've got to take down Bowser Jr. So obviously just jump on his head a few times, two, it's going to spin past, two, and last one, sweet. Okay, so that's Bowser Jr. gone. So you can see when you take damage, when you're in Powered Up, you have a moment of invincibility. So then I could have tried to face off against Bowser, but I kind of figured I'd just duck underneath him in my, uh, in my little warp area. So I've got a few like Kaizo blocks to, uh, to make it through. So then I can make it through to the other side. And you can see over here there is Bowser. So that was it. That is how to make checkpoints and how to make them kind of a little bit more exciting if you wanted to. Hopefully it's given you a few ideas. If it has, drop us a like below. You can also subscribe to the channel with the links on the left hand side. Check out our shop with the links below that and see more of our videos for Super Mario Maker 2, including our full guide with the links on the right hand side. Leave any comments below and I'll catch you next time.